Hey, how's it going? So I'm in the middle of this edit right now and I figured I'd do a little tutorial on this title I'm about to make. So basically what I want is I want the title to fill more in the scene. So I'm gonna make the title go behind an actual object in the scene. And we can do this all right in Premiere without having to leave and go to After Effects or something like that. So let's just play it through and see what we got. So yeah, we have this shot of this water tower and we basically want, and then there's our text. But what we want is, since the text fades in, we want it to be behind the water tower. And we want the water tower to reveal the text. So the way we're gonna do this is, I'm gonna zoom in all the way down here. And so basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to duplicate, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate uh, the original footage and I'm gonna put it on top of our title so when we play it through now we don't see anything but we turn off the little eye and the text is still there so now all we do is click right here click our so now we just click our clip and we're gonna click this little pin tool right here we're gonna move all the way I'm using the arrow keys and then I'll just move to the very beginning and I'm basically just gonna start clicking points and getting a rough sketch of the water tower and the shape of it. Honestly, you should probably just go all the way down just in case you don't have any text sticking out. So we've completed it. Now we should be able to see, aha, but look at that. We should be able to see the word, the entire word right there. But what's happening is it's getting masked out on top. So the way we fix that is we're gonna come back to the beginning and we're gonna click mask path. And then we're just gonna keyframe through it. And then so right here, click there. And then we're just gonna drag this down. And it looks like we need to change a couple things up here. Just drag these over, kind of keep the shape of the water tower as we move on. Yeah, sounds to be perfect right now. We can fix it later. And so we're got, starting to get to the end of it. We could honestly add another point right there, make it look a little more rounded. All right. And once we get to the end, we can kind of, and now fake wood's completely in the shop. So let's preview that. That's not too bad, huh? So we can actually take out the crossfade there and then once fake wood comes all the way out of it, we could honestly just get rid of this layer. So yeah, so that's what it does. Without the layer, with the layer. Without, with. So you see there's still a little bit of a brim right there. So what we can do so we can either come back into the mass path and we could just use the shit. What we can do is we can come back into the mask path and we can tap it, we click mask path, get on the mask and we could just use the arrow keys and we can bring it down just so. What we can do is we can add more of a feather and then we could play with the expansion of the mask. We can make it smaller or larger. So let's see how that looks. I mean, it's not bad. You can go keyframe by keyframe if you want. See, we're getting a little bit in there so we can turn down the, the feathering. Boom. And there you have it. You could do this with anything. You could do this with people. You could do it when people walk by. It's a pretty cool effect, just don't overuse it. Yeah. 